Hello YouTube, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to install the New Vegas Script Extender, Fallout Who Vegas, the unofficial regeneration deuglifier for Fallout Who Vegas, this particular set of plugins which is used with this particular mod, and the Exonons additions and fixes which is sort of the main focus of this particular tutorial video, but you do need all of that stuff previously in order to install this. So. We'll make that work, as well as we're going to explain what loot is, but we'll get to that in a bit. So, to begin, you're going to want to install, or download, should I say, like, let's see, seven things. You need to install, seven, download, and bring at least seven things to the party. You're going to need the MVSE 5.0 Beta 2.7 Edition, Fallout Who Vegas, the 2.4 Final Stable Edition, the unofficial Regeneration Deuglifier for Fallout Who Vegas, the 2.4 stable edition, the Lutana NVSE plugin, specifically, as it loads here a second, that one right there, you're going to need that, the current version. Then you're also going to need to download Fallout Who Vegas, the Exonons editions and fixes, specifically speaking, let it load, da 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 da. It's a little slow today, hurry up. There we go. This one right here, version 4 beta release number 2. That's what you're going to want, alright? Then you're also going to want to download Loot, which is a load order optimization tool, which we will use momentarily as soon as we install the rest. I would also advise installing the Nexus Mod Manager. If you've never used mods before, you likely don't have a mod manager installed for Fallout New Vegas. I would say use the new the Nexus mod manager just because that's the one I'm using and will be the easiest for me to help you with if something goes wrong. But you may have you may also want to use the Fallout mod manager, which I will also link in the description below. But I'm not going to really go into showing you where it is because I don't use that one, nor am I going to install it. So I use the Nexus mod manager. That's what I would choose. I would tell you you should probably get that, but that's up to you. Now on to the next bit. We've downloaded our five files. Oh, excuse me. Technically, we've downloaded seven files, but two of them require just being installed. Basic installations, nothing to worry about. This is the big part right here. These guys. Boom. These five monstrosities. Now, you're going to want to locate your Fallout New Vegas folder. Now, it'll usually be located under your C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, commons and you'll find it right there. In my case it's on the F drive because I have everything stored on a second drive because it's just easier as you can see here. It's a lot easier for me but usually it will likely be stored under your uh, local C drive program files x86 if you're using Windows, a 64-bit version of Windows 7 or well in general anything that's 64 bits. If not it'll just be under program files. I am using Windows 7 professional 64-bit on a side note as my operating system. Okay, so now we're going to get a, good, a, good, a little go here. Now, I have already installed everything, so I'm not going to actually drag anything over, but I am going to show you where everything goes. So, you're going to want to open the NVSE, and what you're going to do is you're going to click in here. You're going to find all these guys. You will select them, and then you would drag them into the Fallout New Vegas folder. Now, when you drag these in, it shouldn't ask you to copy anything over. It should just basically drop straight into the folder. Piece of cake. That's set up. It'll be right there. You can see it all right there towards the bottom of the folder. This is also the area where you have your Fallout New Vegas EXE. Now leave it right there because you're going to want to go inside because next these four are all going to go into the data folder. All four of these. Not like this though. So you're going to want to open each one, select everything inside, and drag and drop into the data folder as I am basically kind of showing you here. Deuglifier, drop and drag into the data folder. Yada blah blah blah. Same with this. You don't need the FOMOD one though. You just need the NVSE. Drop it in the data folder. And then you're going to be on this one. Now, I would also, with this one, suggest you pull this guide. As you can see, it's right there. You're going to pull that one onto your desktop because this is just a guide of how New Vegas works. It also tells you about some stuff up here about Taylor 2 Wasteland mods and stuff, which is, uh, you know, interesting. It is very interesting. Uh. The Tale of Two Wastelands add-on is only required if you're using the Tale of Two Wastelands mod, which combines Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas into one larger game. As you can see, that's an interesting, that's a really big mod right there. We won't talk about that in this particular video. And basically, it gives you all the gist on how everything works, all the things, how to install stuff. It's, it's very helpful, actually. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to do this, and now you're going to hit Control and left click the guide so you don't drag that with you into the data folder. It's not a problem if you do put it in there, but if you're going to have it on your desktop, you don't really need to have it in your data folder. Now what you're going to do is, of course, drag and drop all those ESPs and ESMs right in there. All right. All of this is now installed, and I will show you. I already have it in here, as you can see, Exanon. Uh, there's some other stuff. F the main FWVs there. Uh, my NSV plugins, the Lutana stuff. Everything's already in there and installed and ready to go. So now you can just kind of tuck that out of the way. Now, if you took my advice and installed Loot, I would advise opening Loot right now. It will show you what the load order is. Now, your load order will likely not be what's here right now. It will be different. What you want to do is click Sort Plugins, wait for it to finish, then click Apply like that and then you can close it down again this will basically just automatically sort the plugins to something that's a little bit easier to deal with than it would normally be now of course you're gonna now want to open your Nexus mod manager now I already have mine open and I'm probably gonna have to resort these plugins because I'm like an idiot I did just resort this stuff here which may have reorganized everything that I already organized in very specific ways, but eh, we won't worry about it right now. Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move all of these into a specific load order. Now, that load order is listed on the actual site, the Nex Nexus page, which is going to be found under the description tab right there. Now, you can see it did move a few things already, if, you, if you're paying attention, that is you'll notice that it gives you a load order where everything's supposed to go. Now, mine is no longer in the proper load order because, unfortunately, like an idiot, I hit the loot button. So I've now reorganized all my files around again, which means I've got to move it all back all over again. First thing you're going to want to do, though, notably, you'll probably get some kind of order similar to this. So in a sense, this is kind of help you. So next, first off, you're going to want to find this. This is specifically the loot. This is not the Lutana plugin. It tells you what it requires, by the way. This is your original Deuglifier patch, which is this one, not part of Xzones. So Xenon blah, blah. So what you're going to do is take that, slide it up, 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 and put it right under the Fallout Who Vegas ESP. That way, it's out of the way. We don't have to worry about it. Now, all of these are all Xenon files, which all have to be organized in a specific way. So first, take a look at your little thing here. This is the key ones you want to look at first. These are the first major four files. The original Fallout Who files as well as the primary ESM and ESP files. These two should more or less be almost organized. As you can see, they're already in order. I've added this patch thing here. That's just the thing. You could put it down below if you'd prefer. But basically, these four need to be in that order. All right. Next, you're going to want to move the... Deuglifier Compat, which basically just makes Exodons compatible with this regeneration Deuglifier that we've installed. So you're going to want to add that right up there under that. Got it? All right, now person preference one. You're going to want to drag that one wherever it happens to be, like right there, under the Deuglifier, and boom. Next, Quest Sounds, right under Personal Preferences. Next, both EMP Fix and ENB Fix 2 need to be put right under Quest Sounds. All right, so you're going to go boop and boop. I choose to leave these toggled off because I don't actually use the EMB mods or anything. So that's up to you. If you want to install EMB, feel free. You will need to toggle one of these two on. Only one of them, not both. Now, then you will have the gamepad ones. So you're supposed to put the gamepad protocols first, right under EMB Fix 2, and then the gamepad weapon menus, I believe it is, right under that. I also leave these two toggled off because I don't play Fallout Who Vegas with a gamepad, and if you toggle them on when you're not using a gamepad, it actually kind of breaks some of the non-gamepad controls. So I would advise leaving that off for sure. Now... Next, you need to move the laser screwdriver under the gamepad weapons one, as well as the outfit bonuses go under laser screwdriver, and boom, that is your load order right there. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like, and that's exactly what you want it to look like. 
The revised companion goes near the bottom. The speed flight one doesn't really have a particular load order. I don't even turn it on because I don't really want the speed flight cheat on personally. But it isn't actually specifically needed in any particular place, I don't think. So I just leave it at the bottom because I don't use it. Theoretically, if you choose not to use these four, you could probably just move them to the bottom as well and just keep them out of the way. But I just leave them right there for safety purposes. Now at this point, you're done. You have now completely installed all of the mod. Just remember to go up to the top here. There's two things you got to do. First, you're going to want to go here and make sure that this... This is, I believe, the Tools tab if you're using the Nexus Mod Manager. FOMM also has uh, this as well. You're going to want to go down under Tools and hit Archive Invalidation and make sure it's toggled on. Do not toggle it off. You will need this because there are a lot of red exclamation points and issues that can happen in the game. This takes, gets, takes care of most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. Then you're going to want to hit this down menu, and usually it'll probably be set to launch Fallout New Vegas. You're going to want to switch that to launch NVSE. And now, of course, when you click that, it will automatically launch and ask you if you want to use the MVSloader.exe. I clicked no there, so that way it won't launch. But you'll click yes and let it launch, as I will show you right here. Boom, like that. You're going to want to hit run, and then the game will start up just like it's supposed to. Now, I don't have any saves currently, so I can't really show you all the content in-game. There's a lot of changes and a lot of content. But basically, the core fact is, is that all of those mods are now installed as is and are working completely perfectly and are ready to go for you. So, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want, I can also do a tutorial on how to install all of the ex extra TARDIS consoles that I used in the last few parts of my original episode series where I had the little TARDIS consoles, the new ones like the hexagonal one and the steel and the unofficial Edwardian and all that stuff. I have all those. I can show you how to install all of those if you would like. Just let me know in the comments below and if you need help again just let me know. And if this helped you out feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.